get on ready. Okay, so this is what I like to call the transformation station because we're about to transform. First, I gotta put my hair up. So I like to use this silky scrunchie because it is the best for your hair. All right, so now we got our hair up. I am going to take off my lashes. So nice. So these are my House of Lashes iconic lights and I love them so I need to find a semi safe spot to put them so that Steven later thinks they're spiders. I love that. Next, I want to remove any eye makeup that I have, mascara, all that stuff. And I like to use the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover. All right, so I like to just press it into my eyes and gently rub back and forth lightly to remove all the mascara and the eye makeup that we have going on. If I was wearing gel liner, glitter, all of that, I would be going through many of these. But because I'm not wearing too much today, I'm kind of just worried about mascara. I'm just gonna give it one more go just to make sure we're really all the way gone. These are actually silk pads because I have a cotton phobia. It's very strange, I know. All right, we're good. So I like double cleansing. I love oil cleansers. It just breaks up all the foundation and I got a lot of it on right now. So I love to use the Tatcha Pure One Step Cleansing Oil. This stuff is just gonna break everything down and you wanna make sure to use it with snow water. It breaks everything up better if it's used dry. I always love to pull the skin upwards because gravity is already helping pull it down and we don't want that. So I always use that rule with all my skin products, motion. Now I'm gonna grab a washcloth, a damp washcloth, right here. Need a little bit of warm water. And yeah, I like to use a nice warm washcloth because it's gonna open all of your pores and get it ready for all the other skin products you're about to apply. Get that hairline, you guys, get the hairline. Do not forget because I know we all push bronzer up into our hairline and that's where most of the makeup kind of stays left behind, your ears. All right, perfection. I'm pretty sure I still have makeup on. Even when you think that you took all your makeup off, that's a lie. Now after the oil cleansing, you want to double cleanse. That's what I like to do. This is the Sanita's Lemon Cream Cleanser. I like to use it with this exfoliating pad. So now I'm just gonna take this and in really gentle circular motions, I'm gonna apply this face wash. Oh, it smells so good. Lemon pie, just a nice scent. I really just like this exfoliating pad much more than any face wash with those little micro beads. I just feel like they, they might get into my pores or cut, make micro cuts in my skin because some are so abrasive. Um, so I just like this. I have control over how much pressure the neck, you always gotta remember the neck. It's definitely something that will tell your age once you get to that point in your life. When I was younger, my mom would tell me that and I was like, okay mom, whatever. And now I get it. And you don't really start to get it until you see some things happening and then you, you know, one of those. <laughs> so much water is going down my robe right now. <laughs> All right, clean washcloth. Whew. Pat dry, people, pat dry. You don't wanna rub or tug your skin because that causes wrinkles and we don't want that. Okay, so now toner. I did not use toner. I felt like it was one of those products I didn't really need. And then I started using it and it's amazing. Not only does it control your oils if you have oily skin and that it also helps with breakouts. But when I see the toner pad after I apply it, the amount of makeup left over on my face shocks me. I was shook. Ready for this? Clean. But it will have makeup on it, I promise you. Oh yeah, there we go. I love especially applying this over where I have breakouts. Listen, right now I have some, some things going on and that's fine, it happens to the best of us. So especially right here, I'll just press it into those breakouts. I actually discovered this product on accident once. I sent my husband out for spot treatment for my breakouts and he brought a toner and I was like, what is this? This is not what I use for breakouts. 
but it ended up saving my skin, so it's pretty insane. And I've been using it ever since now. Do you see this? This is what I was sleeping with after I used makeup wipes all these years. I didn't know. Now you know. You just gotta let it dry, make sure the toner sets into the skin before you move on. So listen, I am Latina, so I tend with my skin tone to get hyperpigmentation, spots, all of that. I started using these brightening peel pads. They also help with the appearance of pores and fine lines, wrinkles, just all of that, all of the good stuff these pads do. They're life-changing. All right, so you take the pad and just run it lightly along the skin. Sometimes it does have a tingly feeling. That's because it's working. It's killing everything. I always notice a huge difference when I start to use these with my texture in my skin. It really helps with texture. I had a bunch of little bumps and they went away with these peel pads. And also, every time I have spots, I always focus the pad in that area and it really helps brighten and lighten them a lot quicker. I use these every night. I use one every night. Unless I feel like my skin is doing really well and then maybe I'll skip a couple nights. You know when you're feeling yourself and you're like, wow, my skin's doing so good, I'm gonna skip some stuff. And then the next day your skin <laughs> reacts terribly. Let's just go up the neck too, let's not forget. Okay, now it's time for a face oil. I love face oils. They just make you feel so hydrated and I know a lot of people with oily skin get nervous about face oils, but they actually help oily skin, so I enjoy them. This one in particular is the Luxury Face Oil from Drunk Elephant. I recently started using this and it has just nice healing properties, so especially if you've picked out your skin, which I definitely don't do ever. I do. This stuff has healing properties and it just is so hydrating. So I just use a couple of drops of this and I press it into my skin just like a little mini facial and it makes you look like a dewy dumpling tip i love to drench my skin with this oil before a flight it is the best you'll arrive so glowy and so hydrated it's like this perfect barrier between the airplane air and your skin so lastly for the creams, I'm gonna apply my nighttime cream. This one I only use at night because it has a lot of ingredients that you don't really wanna be using in the sun so much. Okay, my facialist told me to use this. She says it's one of the best, so that's why I use it. That's the real reason. So now I'm just gonna pat this into the skin. I do know that it has a lot of good stuff in here for skin texture, fine lines, spots. And this is good for every night. It's your night cream does all this work while you're sleeping. You don't have to do anything. You just lay there and it's what's working for you. So take it on the neck. Almost forgot. I would like that to be resurfaced as well. Okay. Mom. Always listen to your mom, let me tell you. These are awesome. Okay, they have a multi-purpose for me. So these are Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. And what I love about these is that you can just place them on your breakouts and they don't move because they're sticky. They stick to your face. And on top of that, they're like a skin tone. So it disguises your pimples too. So when you go lay down next to your husband at night, he's not like, whoa, what's going on? I mean, not that I care. I'm always looking crazy. Sheet masks, face masks. So we're just gonna go crazy here. We have some issues happening. So look, boom. Do you see that? You don't see it anymore, do you? Now we're gonna go ahead and plop it on that one. Boom. Excellent, excellent. And let me, you know, let me just put this one right here. Feeling pretty good about that. I mean, I have a little redness, but that's good. So we're gonna move on. Now it's time for chapstick. Don't forget your lips. It's very important. You don't wanna wake up with them looking all dry and Tales of the Crypt-like, you know what I mean? This is actually from Christian Dior, it's the Creme de Rose. I recently found out they discontinued this. I'm still gonna use it because it's everything to me. Uh, but I'm just letting you know, Dior, you should have uh, kept this product, it's incredible. 
All right, that's it. That is my full nighttime routine. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you soon. No, I'm, I'm done, it's all yours, go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Let me show you guys my routine.